Hey there, everybody. Welcome to today's Zoom call. John Walton here. Happy to be with you and happy to be joined by defenseman Justin Schultz from your Washington Capitals. Uh, Schultz, usually uh, you and I were just chatting before we got going here. Uh, usually we'd be riding the planes with you and doing all the things that we do. Uh, this is the first time we've really had a chance to chat. So uh, welcome to Washington. Uh, great to be chatting with you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's start with uh, the decor on this team right now. Uh, you coming over for this season, and so too did Zdeno Chara. Uh, what's it like uh, playing with a guy like Z, who uh, a Stanley Cup winner, much like yourself, uh, but someone that has had the career that he's had, a, a Hall of Famer to be sure, all those years with Boston. What's it like playing with him instead of against him for once? It's pretty awesome. I mean, um, you know, like you said, he's he's a legend. He's going to be a for sure Hall of Famer. And just to see the way he carries himself and, and the way he works still and how effective he is still at this age. It's, um, it's pretty incredible and um, happy to get the chance to play with him. Is he somebody, and I asked Brendan Dillon this a few weeks ago, uh, is he somebody that when you were growing up, when you were playing, were you aware of him at the NHL level? Is it weird to be with him now? Oh yeah. Yeah. Growing up and, you know, even when you're in the NHL playing against him, it's, you're pretty aware of, of who he is and what he can do out there. And, um, like I said, it's, it's unbelievable to get the chance to be able to play with him and, um, learn from him, um, and hopefully have, a you know, win a Stanley cup with him here. You've got a pretty big milestone coming up here on the road trip, 500 games in the national hockey league. What do you think the most important thing is that you've learned about being a defenseman at the NHL level from the time you got started until now, as you approach almost 500 games? Um, you know, as you go on, you just, you learn, you know, how to be a pro and, and what you need to do on a daily basis to prepare yourself. Um, you know, nowadays every game is, is a war and a, and a grind and you can't take any nights off. So, um, but you know, I think most importantly, just having fun. You never know when it's going to end. It's enjoying every, every minute of it. The uh, cup wins, plural for you, both coming with Pittsburgh, uh, then the Caps, of course, winning the following year. So three straight times you met Washington in the postseason. First two, your team was victorious. The third time they weren't. What was different about that third time when Washington won as opposed to the first two times when the Penguins won? Well, I, th I think, you know, all three years there were, it could have gone either way. I think it was, um, you know, we felt like, whoever won that series was, was going to go up, go on and, and have a really good chance to win it all. Um, you know, it, I think that third year they were just, you know, they played so well defensively and they, they were so structured that year and um, really didn't get, didn't give us much. And it was, it was tough going to play in, in wash. Uh, the fans were, were awesome there and um, it was pretty intense. On the subject of fans, uh, obviously in this division, it, may be changing a little bit here in some buildings, not in Washington yet, but up to this point, it's basically been in front of no fans. How different is that emotionally uh, when there isn't that energy in the building? Uh, does it change preparation at all? What, what's it been like for you in the quote unquote, not exactly the bubble, but, uh, but not having any, any fans in the building at this point? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird. I mean, uh, we've kind of gotten used to it now, um, but um, the fans definitely bring something and, and excitement to, to every game. And it's, it sucks not having them right now, but um, you know, you can hear everything out there. It's, it's, it's weird, but um, you know, we're hoping we get them back soon and um, can start playing in front of them in Washington. I've got a bunch more for you, but uh, I've got some fan questions. I want to mix in too. Uh, Jessica Marsh asked, what is your favorite thing about coming to DC so far, uh, getting out in at town at all. I know it's a little bit of a different world yeah. right now, but uh, what, what's your favorite part of DC so far? Yeah, obviously we haven't been able to do too much around here um, with all the stuff shut down and then the restrictions, but you know, I, I just love walking around, you know, when we get a chance and it's so beautiful here and the weather's, I mean, it's turning around nice right now. And um, you know, I'm hoping that, we're able to, to go explore a little more as, um, you know, the months go on here, but, um, you know, I love it here. It's, uh, it's a beautiful city. 
Yeah, hopefully uh, get a little time in the in the summer before it gets too hot. It does get a little swampy around here <laughs> later. Yeah, in the summer. that's what I heard. <laughs> uh, but early, especially spring and summer, absolutely yeah. uh, beautiful as you get going there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Amir Fritz Lamore asks, uh, "What penguin do you miss from your time in Pittsburgh?" You're seeing a lot of them this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of them, uh, a lot this year. Um, you know, I was pretty close with uh, Brian Dumoulin, a uh, defenseman there, so um, probably him. But, yeah, it's um, it's weird definitely playing against those guys now. I don't know that I can say this with absolute certainty, but I'm pretty sure that you are the only player that has had to defend Alex Ovechkin and play with him, play with Sidney Crosby, now defend him, and Connor McDavid, because you were in Edmonton before that. Uh, that is incredible. I have three generational talents, and you've gotten to play with them all. Uh, what makes each of those guys the player they are? Uh, well, well, they all want to be the best. Um, you know, they come to, to the rink every day. They work hard. Um, you know, in every game, they're going out there, and they want to show that they're the best. And uh, it's pretty incredible to be able to play with all three of those guys. They all are a little different, but, um, you know, just unbelievable pros and, and carry themselves so well and are great leaders. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to experience all of that. Is it good as a defenseman not to have to worry about that shot coming at you in a game from Alex, or is it now that you practice against him every day? Is that, is that a problem in and of <laughs> itself? <laughs> yeah, he, he lays off in practice and, um, you know, it's, it's nice, but yeah. Um, Definitely nice not to be able to, not to have to, you know, stand out there on the penalty kill and um, wait for his uh, one timer to come. And um, nice to be able to pass on those pucks now. And um, it's pretty cool. No question. Uh, college hockey guy, you are. Three seasons at the University of Wisconsin. What did college hockey do for you to help you prepare for life in the National Hockey League? Oh, it gave me more time to you know, train and practice. And, you know, I was kind of a late bloomer. So um, just to be able to learn the game more and we had great coaches there and great teammates. And um, yeah, it was, it was a great experience and I'm, I'm glad I did it. What about your uh, time in Madison was your favorite as someone who uh, comes from Minnesota, full disclosure, uh, my <laughs> thought at, at the U. So I, right, but uh, as far as uh, Madison is just an unbelievable city and what a great place to go to college. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. I've been back for a while. I, I probably should get back there, but it, it was so much fun. Um, you know, I think my favorite part was when we were able to just go to the football games, they always had great teams when we were there and um, Russell Wilson was there one year. So um, to be able to go to the, to the football games and, and sit in the student section, it was, uh, it was a pretty cool experience. Camp Randall's pretty loud, right? They do the jump around thing. Is that what they yeah. uh, they do there? Is that at the end of the third quarter? You guys jumping around and enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole stadium shaking. It's it's uh it's pretty cool. What uh, your relationship with uh, with teammates here? Still getting to know guys. Is it different when I, I know it's not a normal year, even off ice, and I don't know that fans realize. Uh, you know, the traveling is different. You're not going to dinner with guys on the road, uh, barely seeing them. I know it's a, a little harder to get to know people. How much, how much more difficult has it been for you coming to a new team in the midst of all of that? Um, you know, it's had its challenges, but, you know, you, you still have the areas on the road um, at the hotel where you can hang out, and, um, be distanced. And, you know, obviously at the rink, you're hanging out with the guys. Um, but like you said, it's um, it sucks not being able to go out for dinners on the road with with the boys and and all that fun stuff. So, you know, hopefully we can start doing some of that soon. But you know, I think we're doing a pretty good job of bonding right now. You missed a little time this year with uh, an errant puck that came up, and you got the business end of. How are you doing now? And uh, any ill effects? You uh, you back to a hundred percent? Yeah, I'm good. My teeth are obviously a little messed up and still wearing that bubble, but, um, yeah, everything's fine. Um, you know, actually got pretty fortunate. It wasn't, wasn't worse. So thankful for that. And hopefully, uh, get these, uh, braces off my teeth soon, and, um, get the visor back. 
Yeah, I'd say that's uh, got to be tough, especially from the very beginning there when uh, when it comes up and gets you. Is that uh, an injury that you uh, – anything more serious than that in your career? I mean, I know you had, you had a couple of bumps and bruises uh, and more than that when you were in Pittsburgh. Is that uh, – you know, as far as that goes, it's kind of tough to uh, to kind of keep battling through some of that the, these uh, these last couple of years. Yeah, you know, I, I broke my leg a couple of years ago, and um, yeah, like you said, I kind of had some bad luck with with injuries. Um, you know, on the puck in the face, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. But um, yeah, body feels feels great, and um, just hoping I can stay healthier. Well, Justin, we appreciate you uh, taking a few minutes here, answering some fan questions and uh, go Badgers, I guess. And uh, hopefully (laughs) we can do this again sometime real soon. Good luck with the rest of this season. And uh, thanks again for joining us. Awesome. Thanks for having me. 